Hi guys, we're gonna make a green banana and cornmeal porridge from start to finish guys. Hi guys, welcome to Sylvan Kitchen today guys. In Sylvan Kitchen we have an awesome delicious recipe for you guys. We're gonna make some green banana and cornmeal porridge in Sylvan Kitchen guys. So guys over here, over here guys we have half a tin of evaporated milk. We have four and a half tablespoon of white sugar. We have half a cup of cornmeal. We have one tablespoon of vanilla. We have a pinch of cinnamon powder. We have a pinch of nutmeg. We have two tablespoons of coconut powder. You can use the coconut milk instead. And we have a pinch of salt. And we have two green banana that we're gonna use. For the green banana, guys, I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil on my hand. Cause the green banana is quite stainy. So just add a little bit of olive oil on your hand. Just rub it up like that before you peel the green banana. Just rub the olive oil on your hand like that so the stain don't stick in your hand, guys. So what we're doing now, guys, we're just peeling the green banana. Then after we peel the green banana, we're gonna add the banana in the, the blender. So just cut off the head, cut off the bottom. Then we add the, peel it down like that. Take off all of the skin of that green banana. So just take off the skin first, and then after we're gonna cut it up. Okay, guys. So this is the first process we do with the green banana. Take off all of the skin of that green banana. If you don't have in the have on the high on your hand, the green banana will stain up your hand. We don't want it to stain up our hand, okay? So this is the first step we do. So what we're gonna do now, guys? We're just gonna add in the coconut milk. So I'm just gonna add now the coconut powder. Just gonna add in the coconut powder in the pot like that. I'm gonna mix it out. It's optional. You can use your coconut milk instead of the coconut powder. So I'm just using two tablespoons of coconut powder today. So right now we're gonna put in all of the spice in the pot. So we're gonna add in our vanilla, our cinnamon powder, our nutmeg, and a pinch of salt. Give it a nice stir. leave that there too so for the green green banana guys we're just gonna cut up the green banana like that add it in the our blender we're gonna put some water to that we're gonna put a half a cup of water we're gonna put the lid in there Make sure you seal your blender properly. So we're just gonna blend up our banana. So what I'm gonna do now guys, I have a half cup of water here. Just gonna add in my cornmeal in. So you don't wanna mix out your cornmeal properly first. You don't want to add in your cornmeal into the pot like that and it get lumpy. Because cornmeal is very easy to get lumpy guys. So we mix out all of our lump of our cornmeal first. Because as soon as this cornmeal let that water, you know, this cornmeal will get lumpy. So we don't want that to try and eliminate all of the lump of that cornmeal first. So I just mix around the cornmeal in some water. What we're gonna do now, guys, we're just gonna add the banana with the cornmeal because we're gonna add the both of them at the same time. So we had the banana with the cornmeal. Just gonna give that a mix. This is how thick that is, guys. As soon as that hit that warm water, we're gonna get thicker, extra thicker. So just 
mix around the cornmeal with the banana at the same time the two of them combine with each other Yes, my beautiful people, what I'm going to do now is add in the green banana and the cornmeal together. As soon as that cornmeal it, it that boiling water, it will get lumpy. All you have to do is keep on stir it. You want to stir it all of those lumps because you don't want to make your porridge and your porridge having lump. You want the porridge to come out nice and smooth. So enjoy this beautiful recipe in Sullivan Kitchen, guys. So I just add in the cornmeal with the green banana together, guys. We're just going to give that a stir. We want to keep on stir it. We don't want to leave it there everything gonna set in the bottom of the pot and they're gonna get lumpy so keep on give it a stir so when it start to boil now we're gonna stop stir it we're gonna stir it all of those lump we just want to get out all of those lump out of that porridge but as i said before we don't want to drink our porridge and our porridge is lumpy we want our porridge to smooth nice texture that's what we're looking for so yes my beautiful people is in the pot for the last three minutes you see it's getting sticky now just give keep on stir it keep on give it a stir because as i said before if you're gonna leave it like that it's gonna get lumpy and you don't want to have any porridge and too much lump is in your porridge if you want to try and eliminate all of that lump out of the porridge so that's how we keep on stir it until it starts to boil properly so we'll just see it or thick is it now so we're gonna add a little bit more water to that because we'll wash out the the blender tray with all of that look at blender leaving that water blend yes my beautiful people we'll just keep on stirring this green banana and cornmeal porridge as i said before we want it nice and smooth we don't want no lump in it if it you're cooking it and you store it into a fix optional just add a little bit more water to it get it nice and smooth again we're gonna while it's calm it part for around 15 to 20 minutes so we need a little bit of water in it we don't want it too thick because it's gonna boil right, right down and get thick so we'll add a little bit of water to it again stir it all of that water to combine with that caramel with that banana together and then after we're just gonna put the lid on it and just let it boil but we're gonna check it every three minutes to give it a stir because you don't want it to stick in the pot the bottom of the pot and get lumpy we don't want that so enjoy this beautiful recipe in Selvin Kitchen guys and please give me a thumbs up. So yes my beautiful people, so the porridge is here, it's been cooking for the last 10 minutes. So that's going to give it a nice stir. You gotta check on it like every 3 minutes, because you don't want it to start stuck in the, the bottom of the pot. You don't want it too thick, if it's too thick you just add a little bit more water to it. So we don't want it too thick and we don't want it too runny. So this is a nice texture what we have here this is beautiful so we're gonna give that another seven to five minutes so we'll go and boil down and then after i'm gonna add in the evaporated milk in it guys so yes my beautiful people what i'm gonna do now guys we're just gonna add in the half a tin of evaporated milk so we're just gonna add in half a tin of evaporated milk let that boil right out with that porridge Gonna give it a nice stir, like the evaporated milk combined with that cornmeal and that green banana. Let's give it a nice mix. So we're gonna give the evaporated milk five more minutes, five minutes in the pot to cooperate with that porridge. Beautiful green banana on cornmeal porridge, guys. As I say it's the cold weather outside. So we need something to keep our body healthy, to keep nice and warm. So we're gonna give that five more minutes. So yes, my beautiful people, so the evaporated milk was in it for the last seven minutes. So now what I'm gonna do now, just give it a nice mix. When you don't want no lump in it, as I said before, but everything combined with each other. And then after I'm just gonna add my sugar to it. So it's all finished now guys, I'm just going to add the sugar to it. They said this is four and a half tablespoon of sugar. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sweeten it and then I'm going to add a little bit in my hand. If you need any more sugar, you can add more sugar to it, it's optional, but I don't like my parch too sweet. So you can use the brown sugar or you can use the white sugar. 
whatever sugar you prefer is up to you guys a lot of people like it sweet and a lot of people don't like it too sweet so it's optional sweeten it to your taste and sweeten it to your like guys it's a beautiful recipe in Sullivan kitchen guys please give me a thumbs up Thanks for watching my beautiful people, I really appreciate it. Please check out the channel for other awesome delicious recipe. Please like the video before you go and if you don't subscribe, please subscribe before you go guys. And please share and like the video. What good? Selvin Kitchen. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay safe guys. A lot of love from Selvin.